It says recording. I hope it is. Is it recording? Hey guys, it's Gabriel here, Flippin' and Stones, and welcome to our channel. Today, we're gonna be working on this piece. As you can see it, it's already painted, but we're gonna walk you through all the steps to a couple products that I use. You can see, it's a chippy, old world look. That's what I was going for. I was on my Facebook and I saw this picture and I fell in love with it. And I said, I can probably recreate this look. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. The artist that did this piece, please tag them in the comments below. I would like to give them some credit. I use Fusion Mineral Paint Soap Stone, but I mixed some Liberty Blue because I wanted to add it like a blue undertone to it. So that's how I recreated this uh, color. So Fusion Mineral Paint has no VLCs and it's really safe to use indoors. I love this. I also use my Steel Master brush for the blue color. Uh, I'm gonna give you a tip. Do not use your uh, good brush when using Fresco. This is the next product we're gonna use. Fresco is a texturing agent that is gonna recreate uh, crackle and it's gonna give you that old world look that we're going for. So. This is really fun to use. I really love using this product and recreating uh, furniture. There's a couple of furniture in the shop that I have used uh, Fresco on them. Uh, awesome product to use. The metallic with my clear wax. That's how I created my gilded wax. So I didn't use the metallic, the, uh, this is rose gold. I used the gold. I ran out of it, but uh, I just brought this so you can see. Also, uh, yes, don't wanna forget this. This is my secret weapon. This is what I use uh, as a resist. I apply this all everywhere where I don't want the paint to stick. Um, so far I've been using this for like about three years and it has worked perfectly for what I want it to look. So I really, really recommend this. I can find this at any hardware store. Espresso wax. I use the espresso wax to add some depth on the details. That's gonna be shown on the video, so don't go away. Just, just watch the video because it has a lot of uh, information if you want to recreate this look. And I think that's it. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and try to recreate this look. So as you can see, we're missing some veneer on the top. This wood putty is one of my favorites to use. Uh, it dries really fast and I apply it and in probably like 45 minutes, I can go ahead and start painting. Okay hey guys, so I have applied the wood putty and uh, I'm just waiting it to dry. So then I'm just gonna go back and sand it. And when we paint this, you're not even gonna notice. So this is the fun part. I'm mixing my fresco with my color. I'm using Sterling by Fusion Minor Paint. So this is the trick guys. The more fresco you add, the more texture you'll get. So now we're gonna apply it. And there's no right or wrong way to do this. I like to go in dabbing motion, as you can see, and go in different directions. I wanna create texture and to be heavy in some spots. going in different directions to create more texture and more brush strokes. Here's an example of how much texture I'm going for. Fresco can give you so much texture and give you that old world look. 
here I'm applying some heat to create some crackle. So far so good getting all that chippy and crackle I was looking for. When creating a chippy look to your pieces, this is my secret. I like to use this wax, it's Johnson, I get this in any hardware store. And that's what's going to act as a resist for your paint not to stick. I'm going to be using today Fusion Mineral Paint, Soapstone, and Liquidy Blue. Fusion Mineral Paint has no VOCs, it's safe to use indoors, and it has no odor. And look how smooth it looks. I love Fusion Mineral Paint because it gives you a nice smooth finish. In this video, we're not gonna go for the smooth finish as we're doing a chippy look. We're gonna apply our paint and then we're gonna distress. But here's an example how nice it goes on. And this is our piece it's starting to look. I can't do nothing better than spending my day with you. My life's sunny and better, girl, when I'm with you. She's luminous so bright like a star in the sky. So if you remember, our inspirational picture had a lot of gold detail. So here, I mix my clear wax by Fusion Mineral Paint and add some metallic to it and create my old building wax. I want nobody but you. This piece is starting to look really royal, don't you think? So once again, our picture had a lot of distress and white showing through. So this is what I'm creating here. I'm going back with a 220 sand grip paper and distressing and exposing all the white underneath. You'll be my B, I'll be your J, yeah We'll be so dangerous in love, girl Shawty, where you wanna go, 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 go London, Paris, Tokyo, oh Shawty, we could go Don't need no luggage, nah, 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 nah Don't need no stress, girl, nah, 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 nah Just being your son's alright, son's alright, girl I want nobody but you. Here, I'm just doing some touch-ups I might have sand too much or I'm just adding where it needs to. So to create more depth to your details, I'm going back with my espresso wax and applying it to the details as shown here. Then I go back with a blue chop towel and wipe all the excess off.
And here's the final product. This was really fun to make. And it gives you that nice old world look. Really simple to create. guys and don't forget to subscribe hit that notification button so you can get notified every time we upload a video uh, we're gonna be creating more content now that I have the time I have a DIY quarantine series coming up where we're gonna be tackling a lot of the projects that uh, we have here in the house such as my staircase that I want to paint and I've been holding that up for a while and my fireplace mantle so stay tuned once again I just want to say stay safe stay home and we'll get through this